Hey everyone, it's me, Crazy Mario Bros, and this was very unexpected. So I got some packages that I wasn't actually expecting for a while now. So it's been a long time since I've done an unboxing video. I think the last time I did one was like probably a year ago, but today I am officially going to be making another one because I got a bunch of plushies. The reason why I stopped doing unboxing videos was because I didn't think that they were really that interesting since I was only getting like one thing per unboxing, but now I have so many different things. I think this is like over 10 plushies. So we're gonna be seeing what's actually in these packages. And of course, in typical CMB unboxing fashion, I've got the worst scissors possible for opening boxes, so it'll be entertaining. Now, while I'm opening this box, I just want to remind you guys to be subscribed to this channel. You probably think you are, but I mean, this is my second channel, so most people think they are, but they probably aren't, so just make sure that you are. Also, get this video to like 4,000 likes. I think it'll probably blow up because I mean, this is a really big video. Uh, I feel like I'm probably damaging something in the box. I don't know. I'm cutting it really stupidly. Okay, I think we can try and open it now. Ugh, there we go. All right, I got it. Now we can open this and see what's inside. Oh boy. All right, let's take these out. Got him. And we got uh, this character. Oh, there's actually more than that. We got this character. And we got this character. All right, that's enough of box one. The first one we're gonna be unboxing is Dry Bowser. Let's just get him open. There he is. There is Dry Bowser. Now, the really interesting thing about this plushie is that it's actually official, which I'm surprised about because there was a fake Dry Bowser that was going around for years. And for some reason, Sine just decided to finally make a Dry Bowser, which is a very good idea because this is cool. The attention to detail in this plushie is really nice. I mean, it does actually look like a Dry Bowser, but you can tell that it's also based off the original Sine Bowser. Let me go get him. So I keep Sine Bowser up here on the shelf along with my other large plushies. Let me just try and reach up for him. Okay, I actually can't. I need to get Something. Let's use a keyboard to get him down. Get down. Get down. Get oh there you go. Poor Bowser. All right, so here is the comparison between normal Bowser and Dry Bowser. And the really interesting thing is that I think Dry Bowser is actually bigger. I mean, look at that hair comparison. This Dry Bowser is huge. It's not really different enough to be super noticeable, but it's definitely noticeable when you look at the hair. Looking at the back, you can see the original Bowser has a green while the Dry Bowser has a gray and red. I think that's very nice. And then of course for the obvious features, you know, I mean, he's just all white all around and I think it looks really nice. Sine did an insane job on this Bowser. I think it looks really nice. And overall, I mean, I can't wait to use this. I don't know what I'll use it for, but I think it looks like really cool. All right, on to the next couple plushies. Now, the reason why this video isn't called a Mario plush haul is actually because I got some Animal Crossing plushies. So here's an Animal Crossing character. Let me just unbox the other one too. So here we have the Animal Crossing plushies for Raymond. And I don't really know this guy's name. Uh, I'm pretty sure its name isn't KK Slider. Does Sine themselves not know what character this is? I mean, I don't really know what it is, but I know it's not KK Slider. Okay, that's kind of weird, but uh, here we got two Animal Crossing characters. The reason why I've been getting other franchise characters is for like, you know, background characters. I've had a lot of times where when it comes to a background character that I just need for like one video, I usually end up using a Yoshi. However, I've ended up like reusing the Yoshis and giving them different voices. So it's been confusing some people. So I decided to just get some other characters. I've been trying to get a lot of background characters for you guys. All right, the last one in box one is Birdo. Now Birdo is a plushie that I think Carter actually had as part of his collection, but I don't really remember. Birdo's a character that I'm surprised I actually didn't have before because I would probably pick Birdo as one of my choices for a Mario character when it comes to buying plushies just because I mean the plush looks really funny every time I look at this character I can't stop comparing it to a pea shooter why am I like that I always compare characters to like really dumb things especially since Birdo came first why am I comparing it to a pea shooter oh well it's just a funny comparison that's just the way I am I always compare things anyways that was box one now it's time to move on to box two all right box two is now open and we can see what's in so oh my god this is huge let me just get the first bags out of the way because we need more room for this thing. That thing is so huge. So we got a couple more plushies in here. We got that guy, we got that guy, and we got this thing. Let's get them open. Now, I think the first thing we're gonna open is the blooper just because it's the smallest one out of all of them. And I kind of want to work my way up because that thing is ginormous. All right, there we go. So first we got a blooper, which is from the Mario games, obviously. It's like a little squid in Mario, which I don't really know what I'm going to use him for. It's just that, I mean, like I said, I need some more background characters, right? Like I got Birdo. I'm not sure what I'm using Birdo for, but squid is kind of like the same reason. I got blooper just because I didn't have him already. Again, I think Carter already has one, but I mean, that's his collection. So I want to get one for myself too. Not sure what I'm going to use blooper for, but I think I have some funny ideas. So just stay tuned, guys. Next, we're going to open up the Poochie Dog Plush, which is actually one of my favorites. I, I think that this plushie is really funny. 
And we got him open. There we go. So next up, we got the Poochie Dog Plush. I think this is from Yoshi's Wooly World, but I don't really remember. All I know is that this thing is adorable. I mean, look at its tail. It's like this red tail cotton ball thing. I mean, dude, this thing is adorable. I love it. It just makes me wish that this was a real dog. It's just so cute. I'm gonna go show this to my actual dog. Hold on. What are you doing? Why are you hiding under a chair? Get out from there. I want to show you something. What do you think of this? Oh, no, 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 no. I think it's safe to say that my dog likes it. All right, now that we're halfway done, we're gonna move on to the Dark Bowser Plus. I don't know if that's actually his name. I just know that this is from Bowser's Inside Story, if you guys have ever played that game. What I'm noticing about this one is that it actually comes in different packaging than the other one. Probably because it's a bootleg. Let's get it open, though. Oh, oh, wait, we don't even need the scissors. It has a zipper on it. Well, that's unique. I haven't really seen that. All right, so now that we've got Dry Bowser out, this thing is really awesome for a bootleg. Like, I'm honestly surprised that it's this good. Most bootlegs are really bad at replicating the original, but I mean, there was no original for this, so they got to do whatever they wanted with it, and I think it's perfect. You can obviously see by the tag that they tried to make this look real, but I guarantee you that if you scan this stuff, it's not going to actually show you the right character. Bootleggers are really weird about that. They put real tags on the plushie, but when you scan it, it shows you a different one, so I don't know why they do it. But yeah, when you compare it to the original Sine Bowser plush, this thing is spot on when it comes to getting the details of Dark Bowser. This thing is awesome. Like, honestly, I've never been more impressed with a bootleg. This thing is crazy. Usually I hate bootlegs, but this one stole it for me. That thing is insane. Now we're gonna get on to the real insane stuff. Oh my god. Oh, I, I thought it was gonna stay standing up. Look at this. This is the official Thwomp plushie. This thing is crazy. If you guys somehow don't know, the Thwomp plushie does a thing where in the games, it kind of just crashes down on you. So it's supposed to be like a floating thing. And then when you walk under it, it just crashes down and it's supposed to kill you. But I mean, you can dodge it. What I didn't realize when ordering this was that it's 12 inches tall, which is crazy. It's a whole foot tall. Honestly, I look forward to making a really funny video out of that thing because that is crazy huge. Like, compared to my Mario, this thing is, like, almost twice the size. I'm honestly surprised by that. All right, that's enough of box two. And now it's time for bag three, or bag one. I'm not really sure what's in this, actually. But we're gonna get it open regardless. Oh, wait, never mind. I realize there's an easier way of opening this. It's like an actual bag. Okay, guys, I don't really know what all this white stuff is. It's kind of all over my bed. Uh, please don't use that audio out of context. And now we are going to see what's in this. Moment of truth. We got this guy, and we got... This. Don't I have one more? Oh, it hasn't arrived yet. Okay, well, we'll just wait for it later. Now, the second to last plushie that I got was a Monty Mole plush. Now, again, this is one that I'm surprised that I didn't have because, honestly, I'd probably pick this as one of my first options. The character's just so funny. Look at it. Who knows the situations I'm going to put this guy in. He just looks so innocent. I can make him like a crime dealer or something. He just, he doesn't look like he fits the character, but that's the funny part. And now, the last part of the haul is a Buzzy Beetle. Again, I feel like I have one of these. I just don't really know where. But this one is good to have, so, I mean, I'm glad I at least have it now. Now. 